summer is definitely way behind us, but I think I prefer the cooler weather for making this type of video. In this one, we're gonna take a look at yet another vintage telephoto. The Nikkor Q 200 mm F4 was originally introduced in 1961, which is 60 whole years ago. The revision I have is a little bit newer and a little bit different than that original model. And it's likely from about 1971, which is 50 years ago. Like a lot of vintage telephotos, they're generally quite affordable. I got this puppy for $75 Canadian, and it's pretty much immaculate. The optical design is four elements in four groups. That's actually what the Q in the name signifies. They're weird like that. It has a seven blade aperture that goes from F4 down to F32. This is a pre-AI lens. So if you plan on using it on a modern Nikon body, make sure that it is compatible. If your body doesn't have an AI pin that can be flipped away, don't try to mount it. If you're adapting to mirrorless, this shouldn't be a problem. The minimum focus is about two meters and the throw is just a hair over 180 degrees. It's well dampened and relatively easy to use, but still a bit more stiff than you might be used to. That's what she said. As with many classic Nikon lenses, it has a 52 millimeter filter thread. It also has a built-in lens hood with a little bit of girth to it. This lens weighs in at 640 grams. Focused out, it's about six and a half inches long. Focused in with the hood extended, it goes out to eight and three quarters. It isn't a complete monster of a lens, but it isn't exactly compact either. In terms of image quality, it's decently sharp and contrasty, although far from clinical. The color and bokeh are extremely pleasant. I think this lens is a prime example of what one wants in a vintage lens. Flaws that give it a little something we call character. Getting in tight can render some really dreamy images. Let's take a bit more of a technical look. There doesn't seem to be any noticeable distortion. At f4, it's soft as one would expect, but it sharpens up at f5.6 and stays that way until f22 when diffraction sets in. Vignetting is really only there wide open. Corner performance isn't the greatest across all stops. The build quality is pretty good, although it does have a bit of a hollow feeling to it. Not that that is a bad thing. It's just that the later generations of these lenses feel a little bit more solid and compact. Take that with a grain of salt though, that's just my opinion. In terms of handling, it's a bit of a mixed bag. I really like the design of the older style focus rings with their deep grooves. As I said earlier, it is a bit stiff. And that sluggishness does give you a sense of accuracy, but it also makes capturing action a little bit trickier. But there's a good balance to it, and in daylight situations, shooting handheld is no problem. That said, at this focal length, it'll never be your everyday walk around kind of lens, but I think it is a welcome addition to the family. Mm -hmm. 